uh, in GIMP we have some transformation tools, uh, move and rotate, uh, which are the same in FreeCAD draft. Uh, but I think it's also useful to have a perspective uh, transform tool. Uh, let's see how it works in GIMP. If we have an uh, image, we use this tool. And in this case, we can select a corner and we can move it somewhere. And we get the image transformed. And uh, there are such transformation tools for images in OpenCV. This is useful if I have to map uh, an image uh, where I know the source is a square to a square format. And there is a simple call here, get perspective transformation. And I can use this to transform the image. And I can reuse this methods from OpenCV uh, for um, objects in CAT2. In this case, I do not transform the pixel points. I transform the, the coordinates of a wire or the coordinates of the poles of a piece spline. And now let's see what we can do. Uh, we start with um, a sketch. In this case, uh, I have this figure here. And we have a lot of poles in this sketch and it's it's hard to edit this figure to get something which is similar to this and uh, having a perspective transformation can make this work in some cases easier. So the first thing what I do is I say I uh, define a frame and I only want to um, move poles inside this frame. Then I have a script. This script will come to the knobs workbench next days. Uh, still have to debug something. Okay. Now I have uh, here um, a transformation object. I have a source frame and a target frame. The source frame uh, was at the beginning. A target frame is built it and now uh, the target frame can be modified and then the transformation object will be moved. We see here the poles of both figures of the source and of the result. Uh, moment. This is it. This is the result. The B spline is the source. So uh, what I do is I start adding uh, the target frame, and I want to move this point in this direction. It's simple. It can simply be done with draft uh, wire editor, and we see. The figure is transformed. The poles here all are moved in this direction. And the tool works in a way that we say if a pole is outside the source frame, then these poles are not moved. That means if I want to fix some points, I have to draw my starting, my source frame in a way that the poles lie outside and all the inner poles are moved. So I can do this uh, with the other uh, corners of the frame too. And now it's easy. I can do this way something like a sharing too. Now this is a sharing. And we also can uh, use this for a scaling. That means if uh, I move this I have here 1 to 8 6 8 then all the poles are scaled with factor 2 in this direction so now uh, we can see we get very interesting figures because some of the poles are transformed 
and other poles are fixed outside the starting frame. Okay, let's go back. And look at this figure. Uh, moving the four corners of the target frame, I can push and pull the figure in any direction. But sometimes I only want to uh, transform only uh, an area here. In this case, there is another way I can say in my transformation uh, I want to use the center. The center is a point which lies in the center of the uh, source frame. And now um, uh, I can use the center. All these data are parametric. The that means here the center is this point. And now I use the center. Okay. And what we can do now, now uh, when I move the center in this direction, mainly these points are transformed. Uh, so first thing to have easier to understandable configuration, I move the target frame back and now I change the coordinates of the center points. I go to the right. So, and now we see the influence of this point is more in this area. And there is no influence here because the center point is still not on, on the center. The center point is now here and has the most influence here. What I can do if the center point uh, goes out of the source frame, then all the poles lie on the corner. So that means I can push my curve onto uh, the corner and I can cut my curve this way. And this works in this direction too. So that's it for the moment.